hey guys welcome back to develop payment manager in this video we're gonna talk about how we can migrate from any other event manager plugin to our wp event manager plugin and also we will show you how you can migrate different types of data such as events or categories we will even explain each uh, steps we go through uh, during this video so firstly we have our wordpress dashboard here to accomplish this migration we need two extra plugins let's go ahead and install them first firstly we need wp all export so here we have wp all export we're gonna install this one make sure your plugin name says export any wordpress data by uh, softly this plugin is very helpful if you want to export like any uh, particular type of post data using uh, wordpress into csv or excel sheets so let's go ahead and activate this plugin now let's add another plugin a second one so this is our government uh, migration plugin we call it wp event manager migration so if we search it sometimes it doesn't really shows up at the top of the search result but if you scroll down a little bit here we have wp event manager migration by wp event manager let's go ahead and install it activate this plugin let's go to our all events so as you can see we have two events for this demonstration which we're gonna now export using wp all export so here we are greeted with this ui we're gonna select specific post type if we scroll down here we can see we have events and organizers so for this demonstration i'm using our own plugin that's wp event manager plugin for to export the data and to later on use that for migration purpose by the way you can use this uh, for this kind of scenario to um, like imagine you are switching to another website with like a different domain name and stuff and you want to migrate your event and organizers data from this current setup to the new setup you can always follow this guide as well so we have like a couple of post types over here this uh, post types may vary depending on your wordpress environment and if we look at the bottom we have our events our organizers these are the main data sets we need to migrate our events and also this uh, two post types might be uh, differently named for your plugin provider uh, for us it's events and organizers feel free to ask in the comments if you don't understand uh, what post type to export when you are migrating your data we will try our best to help you out so we have our events let's select that and click on migrate events let's go and click confirm and run export we don't need to configure this advanced stuffs so let's click on csv so there we have our event export file and let's keep it there as of now next we're gonna visit our organizer section as you can see we have two organizers here uh, they are identically named but uh, this is a demonstration so we have our two organizer we are gonna export the same using WP all export again let's select our organizers follow the same step confirm and run export next we're gonna download the csv file the part over here is over uh, we have exported our two required data sets now we're gonna delete all the events and organizers we have for this demonstration so we can import them later on so first let's delete our events let's clear our trash as well then we're gonna delete our organizers okay. 
clear our trash over here too then we're gonna go to our event migration to start the actual migration process and firstly we're gonna do our uh, event data set let's click on that let's upload our event csv let's select that content time event oh by the way you can always migrate a uh, venue and sell ticket uh, data sets if your plugin provider like uh, exports those kind of data such as venue list or like ticket list as well by the way we can always uh, select venue list uh, or the ticket list which is available via your plugin and you exported that already using all export we can always like select that file and select the appropriate option over here and go to next screen and proceed ahead for further processing so we are importing events of course so let's select event let's click here please take a while let me explain uh, what we have to do here because this is quite a, a complex stuff to do and then we have a file field on our left hand side we have a event field on the middle then a default value on the right side so these file fields are calculated from the csv file we have just imported so these are the columns let me open the file here they are there so these columns are over here this will be the columns on the database for our event and these are the default value if we click over here and write something down so it will set the default value for all the migrated all the migrated event as of now so let's do not click that as of now and I highly urge you to match each file field with uh, appropriate event field you don't have to like map all of them just find uh, the one appropriate uh, and match them otherwise leave them blank if you are having any type of question or queries please drop your uh, concern in the comments we will try our best to help you out I'll give you a bit of an example over here how we can match these fields so suppose we have ID and then we see id under event so that's it sometime there will be a help button over here you can hover over for a little more information we have title let's see we have a title over here too event title we have the content most possibly the description for our event yes there we have the excerpt let's not select that we have the date should should be the start date we have a post type. I don't think we'd have a post type over here. Sure. Permalink. I don't think we'd have that either. So see how I'm keeping the fields over here that uh, doesn't have an appropriate field on the event database. So you can do that as well too. Image URL. Let's not set to anything. I don't think we have an image URL value here. Let me see image title no we don't have any image URL value right so see some fields over here in the csv are blank so that's why i said in beforehand that please go ahead and read the csv file a little bit before migrating even data these stuffs can be time consuming but if you map like a wrong data to with a wrong field in the database that can that can actually cause you a lot of trouble and a lot of more time in future as well like you have to fix them all by yourself uh, manually by one by one so then we don't have really this image fields in our event field we have attachment url that can be our event banner we have our event categories categories event type to our event type then we have our status i don't think we have a status over here right author id do we have author id no so skipping this author part here we cannot say slug neither the format template panel so i think that's pretty much it i have matched all the possible fields i could have imagined and keep in mind um these migration processes are not really smooth at all but we try our best to deliver a good user experience over here so that's why we are open for support whenever you need us feel free to reach out to us our support team or drop a comment in the video anytime for any kind of help and 
sometime after migration uh, you might have to set some uh, fields or values by yourself but as they don't have like a default value but you can actually set the default value here but over here but suppose you don't want like a same value for all the events you are migrating so for that you have to manually go to that event and modify them so let's go ahead and import this file actually here we have a little bit preview let's go ahead and import so it says two events successfully been imported let's go to our all events so here we have our list of migrated events uh before using them with your website you might need to tweak them a little bit enter like additional data and stuff before you can actually use them with your website so after this let's move on to the organizer migration let's select our csv file i have already uploaded it let's select our organizer and so here we have the same scenario we have our file field our organizer field and we have our organizer field mapper then our default value selector and i have our custom field so in custom field if we select custom field it will uh, let us define a custom field in the database and assign the value into it regarding the file field from the csv file so let's map these uh, fields over here we have id title that should be organizer name content our description time permalink image url let's see how file what we have do we have an image url no okay uh then we have attachment url that should be logo and that's pretty much all the things we can map here okay let's go ahead and import this file let's go to our organizers so here we have our two imported organizers from the csv file as i said in the event section so before using uh, them on the website you might want to tweak them a little bit like such as add like uh, their social details since that wasn't available in the csv file and we couldn't map it and then you might want to change the description or maybe the title their logo so that takes us to the conclusion actually let's uh, cover up and revise what we did and few important things you need to uh, keep in mind to migrate and migrate events or organizers from your existing event manager plugin to our wp event manager plugin you need two plugins first is wp all export second is our gomet wp event manager migration firstly you need to export the data using all export plugin and then my imported using our event managers migration secondly some points to keep in mind or really pay attention to uh, when you are migrating a migrating an event or organizer please read those csv files once before you upload so you have a basic idea which field contains what kind of value so when you actually see the um, migration wizard then you know actually which field goes where or which database field you map to which uh, csv column i highly encourage you to add and meeting using our wp event manager uh, plugin so you can have a basic idea like which event managers uh, field represents what's value so that gives you an advantage when you are migrating the data so you know exactly which csv value represents what and which uh, event manager database field represents what so you can easily match them and that will make your migration a lot more easier secondly always we might not have all the appropriate fields feel free to leave them blank or define a custom value or define a default value if you want and if you are having any type of confusion question or queries there's a support team available at our website that's wp-eventmanager.com or you can always comment down below we will try our best to help you out please do not hesitate migrations can be little complex time to time but we are here to help you out and finally after migrating the data 
please go ahead and verify those data and tweak the migrated data as per your needs as well uh, modify them then re-verify and publish so that's pretty much wraps it up for this video thank you for coming along on this long ride i really appreciate it please drop a like if you like this video a sub to the channel would be phenomenal and i'll catch you in the next one